Blue Sky Plan now has a guide tube collision detector that senses when the guide tube position will interfere with the proper seating of the surgical guide in the patient's mouth. We will see how this works first in the wizard mode and then in the normal or advanced mode. To save time in this demo, I've already placed the implant. I've deliberately placed the implant where the guide tube will collide with the anatomy on the model. In this case, the soft tissue and the neighboring crown. We are in the wizard and have just completed the adjust implant position step. We will now click next in order to draw the guide curve. A collision alert pops up allowing you to resolve the collisions automatically or do nothing which will then allow you to resolve the situation as you see fit. Click resolve collision. The program responds with a window letting you know how the collision was resolved and that the drill report will contain the new drilling parameters. Click OK to continue with the remaining wizard steps in order to complete the case. For your convenience, we will show how to obtain a drill report at the end of this video. Outside of the wizard, normal and advanced modes handle guide tube collisions the same way. You can switch between normal and advanced by clicking in the upper right corner drop down menu and select the mode. This demo will continue in advanced mode. The plan shows a visual collision between the guide tube and the model. The software senses an issue involving the implant as illustrated by the red exclamation mark. When we click on the exclamation icon, a collision drop down appears by the implant with the suggested solutions. Raising the guide tube will lift the guide tube off the model. Making the tube narrower will reduce the diameter of the guide tube in order to fit between adjacent teeth. The implant validation panel also opens showing more details regarding the collision as well as mentioning that the drill report will be updated automatically. We will click on raise guide tube. This resolves the collision and we will be able to check the drill report by clicking on the file menu, click drill report. In the screenshots panel that opens click PDF, OK the format and we zoom in we'll see that the new drill depth is 18.5 millimeters. Compare this to a screenshot of the drill report before raising the guide tube. We see the original drilling depth was only 16.5 millimeters.